Well, shooters and reloaders out there, Fortune Cookie 45LC coming to you from the Hot Lead Zone. And this is my very first ever 45 Colt revolver. I bought this in the early 1980s, and what tips it off is that there's no pin on the barrel. And that means that this revolver was after 1982. There's no recessed cylinders either, and that, again, that's 1982. Well, yesterday at the range, I shot 150 rounds through this revolver. There are the empties right here. And interestingly, that a 12-gauge box that normally holds 25 12-gauge shot shells is perfect for holding 100 rounds of loaded 45 Colt. It fits perfectly in there. Close it up. And if you don't want to have any accidents, you put some masking tape over it. But that's a good holder for 100 rounds of 45 Colt. Well, at the range, I was testing the difference between non-powder coated 45, 45, 10 lubed bullets versus powder coat. And the bullet was that 255 grain round nose flat point by Lee. They actually weighed 268 grains. Well, you know how nice those powder coated bullets look. But shot from a rest at 25 yards, that's a four and a half inch group turned in by the powder coated bullets compared to a three and a half inch group, actually 3.4 inch group turned in by the 45, 45, 10 bullets. However, at 12 and a half yards, the groups uh, are much tighter at 25 yards. With a more clear sight picture, these groups will be smaller. Now I know that these group sizes might seem large to you, but it's all because of the fuzzy sight picture. The eyes just can't accommodate as well as they used to. About 10 years ago, I'm used to getting groups like this shot at 25 yards, even offhand. Not just from a rest. So, good clear eyes would make those groups half the size, I'm sure. So of course, just shooting groups is work. And with 150 rounds, you can bet I had some fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you gotta have a little bit of fun shooting a few cards. We got three cards in that target. The upper right, lower left, lower right has a playing card in it. Let's see if we can split some of those with our powder coated bullets. All right! Those are loaded with honeybees. I remember you! Okay. How are you? <laughs> Good, well, how are you? Good, well, how are you? Hey, so, I'm going to put you in the bag. Yeah, there you go. Yes, yes, guys. No, no, no. Do that. I'm trying to make us look bad. We're going to scare it. Scare it. Here, before I go. I put it in a hole in my left hand jack, but I don't know where it went in the arm. Well, the upper left must have been hit. We'll go for the lower left. Yeah, but I don't. Yeah, but it does. 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 Yeah, but it does.
lower left is tough because the sights get lost in there. So take a hundred rounds and have a good time with it. Split a couple of playing cards. Now the story of the day isn't complete until we finish cleaning up our guns so you need to know how easy it was to clean up that revolver. And after shooting the last hundred rounds of those powder coated bullets the revolver cleaned up very easily. So you see that's all nice and clean in there, including the back end of the barrel, the forcing cone. You see there's nothing in there. The cylinder throats are clear and the end of the barrel is clear. Don't see any streaks in there either. Looking at the barrel from here, you can fringe that. There you go. Get a good look at that.